Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk. Welcome to another live broadcast. And today we're going to be discussing a really popular topic, and that is what causes soak away problems? And more importantly, how can you fix those soak away problems without having to spend out thousands of pounds replacing your septic tank soak away? Well, that's why I've made this video. So let's get straight into this. So if I just get this up on the other screen here, let me have a look here. All right, so this is what a typical uh, septic tank and soak away look like. So it's an aerial view and the white tank there is an onion shaped septic tank. And then the soak away here, um, that's in a, a, a V shape formation, that's called a herringbone septic tank uh, soak away. And under that, you can notice there's gravel or shingle under there. All right, so let's get a close up now of the septic tank. Okay, so let me now zoom in to the septic tank. Okay, so here's a cross section of the septic tank. Okay, so let me explain first of all how a septic tank and soak away work. Well, the first thing that happens is that the wastewater from your property will enter the septic tank like so, right? And when it reaches a certain height, it will then make its way from the septic tank out through a pipe mm -hmm. called the inlet pipe and so here's the inlet pipe and there is the water making its way through the inlet pipe towards the soak away all right so let's just pan out a bit now all right and show you what the soak away looks like well here's a cross section of the soak away so once the water wastewater enters the soak away the soak away pipes are made of a perforated pipe so when the water enters them they'll just exit through the side and the end of the soak away pipes and they will make all that wastewater will enter the gravel bed there and from there the wastewater will just naturally drain away into the soil so that's typically how a septic tank and soak away works so what goes wrong all right well let me show you so if we go back to the septic tank now here we go right okay so the biggest thing, the biggest enemy of a septic tank are cleaning products. Bleach, washing powder, dishwasher tablets, dishwasher liquid, um, shampoos, dishwashing liquid. Uh, what, what have I said that? Yeah, bleaches, floor cleaners, stuff like that. They kill the good bacteria in a septic tank. So you've got to imagine a septic tank is like a big stomach, right? Or a human being. Now, if you and I were to eat too much junk food, fried foods, eat loads of crisps and cakes and stuff, our arteries become very quickly clogged up with cholesterol. And it's the same with septic tanks. If you use cleaning products and you kill the good bacteria inside the septic tank, very quickly all the debris that you flush down the loo or the poo and the fat and the grease and the sludge is start to build up on the bottom of the septic tank so have a look at the bottom of the septic tank so there we go you'll notice that the fat the grease and the sludge are starting to rise up from the bottom of the tank towards the top of the tank now what happens is when the sludge reaches a certain height like so all right from there the sludge will then start to make its way down through the outlet pipe, which is a bad thing, right? It's a very bad thing. So have a look now. So there you go. You can see the fat, the grease and the sludge making its way down through the outlet pipe, clogging and blocking it up as it goes. All right. So I just said to you, this is a really bad thing to happen. Why? Well, because it's clogging and blocking the arteries up. So if we just pan out now and have a look, at the soak away there all right so there's the soak away pipe so as you can see the water is just coming out of them naturally but what happens is that when the um, fat grease and the sludge make their way through the outlet pipe and through the soak away pipes right it then stops the water draining away in through the soak away pipes and so what happens is if i just zoom in here for you the arteries or the, the pipes of the of the soak away just become completely clogged and blocked up with fat, grease and sludge. And so 
there's at this point you've only normally got two options right you can get the septic tank man to come in right and what you can get him to do you can get him to suck out all the fat and the grease and the sludge inside your septic tank so let's say he sucks it all out right so let's say he sucks it all out so let me just put that back there hold on that's a bit, a bit too keen there so let's say he sucks all the fat and the grease and sludge out of your septic tank all right so your septic tank's got clean water in again and uh, and he even sucks the water out which is great fixes the problem right no it doesn't it maybe fixes the problem for a couple of hours but it doesn't really fix the problem because once you flush the loo again or or you let the bath water out the tank is going to fill up with water again just like so and then very quickly right the fat and the grease and the sludge are going to build up from the bottom of the tank back up again now before that starts to happen just have a look at what's in the pipes there now the septic tank an emptying man will suck out your septic tank, but he won't be able to suck out the fat and the grease and the sludge that is clogging up your soak away pipes. Why not? Because the fat and the grease and the sludge, it's hard. It's congealed and it's, it becomes like mud, you know, like tar. It just won't drain out back into the septic tank. So you can spend two, three, four hundred pounds getting your septic tank emptied, but it won't unblock the main arteries of your soak away from all the fat and the grease and the sludge. Another option that all root people go down is to get the, the jetters out off the back of the wagon and they blast high powered water into the soak away pipes. Now that would be all very well if it was like a tunnel and it had, you know, the exit was blocked and you could push all the sludge through and it just came out through the other end. But you've got to remember in a soak away, right? The soakway pipes are completely surrounded and covered by soil. There's nowhere else for them to go. So the high powered water will just compress all that fat and the grease and the sludge, making it the, pr the problem even worse. If you put rods down there, they're just going to poke through the fat and the grease and the sludge. So there is really up to now, up to the last few years, there hasn't been um, a reliable, effective way to fixing block soakaways unless you replace your soak away, right? And as you know, that can cost anywhere from three to five thousand pounds to do. Well, the reason I've done this video is because I want to show you a really simple and easy solution. A few um, uh, years ago, going back about five or six years ago now, um, I've been doing septic tank, you know, fixing people's septic tank problems for about um, 20 years now. And we came up with this product uh, called Soak Away Worms. And basically, they are organic red worms, right? And how they work is that you tip the bucket straight into your septic tank. See, what was happening, people were ringing me saying, oh, you know, I've got to have a new Soak Away. And it really bugged me and grieved me that people having to spend three to five grand to fix a Soak Away. I used to live in a place called Shropshire. Uh, in my dad had a septic tank. And it was like something out of a horror film. It was full of these worms, right? And so were all the neighbors' septic tanks. But the thing is, right, as my dad reminded me, we never, ever had any problems with our septic tank. Never blocked up, never got clogged, because the worms ate everything. We found out what those worms were. We started um, selling them to people, you know, with, 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 with block soakways. And, and before long, everyone was emailing me saying, thanks, you know, you saved me 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 quid. And that's how the worms took off. And they just took off from there. So the worms will go into your septic tank, just tip them all in, just tip the whole bucket in. They'll fall to the bottom of the tank. And here's a picture of what it's like before. And here's a picture of them after. As you can see, the worms eat all the fat and the grease and the sludge. They're amazing, right? And so... um. I've got a little FAQ here because lots of people ask me questions, right? Do the, What worms do you use? Well, there's about 150 different species of, of, of worms in the UK. Um, these are a special sewage worm. They specifically eat fat, grease and sludge, particularly from excrement. Now, you'll find there's a couple of companies on the Internet who, who, who sell worms to unblock septic tanks and soakways, but they're not the same worms. Yes, go and spend 50, 60, 70 quid. They're about 50, 60 quid cheaper than the worms that I sell, which is fine. You know, you get competition, that's fine. But they are not the worms 
right, that uh, naturally occur in different places of the country, and they're not the worms that unblock septic tanks and so forth. So go and buy them, try them by all means, right? These are the only worms out of the 150 species of worms that we've tried and tested uh, in the UK that actually work, right? Um, so they're organic red worms. There is a Latin name for it, but I don't like giving it out because I don't like too much competition, right? If everyone started selling my worms, you know, you know, there'd be no point in me selling worms anymore, would there? Right, so lots of people ask me, will the worms drown? Well, no, it's a fallacy. Worms don't drown. If there's oxygen in the water, right, worms can thrive and live quite happily, right? And um, with a septic tank, you've got a flow in and you've got a flow out. So as long as you've got a flow in from the septic tank, you know, you're always going to oxygenate the water and the worms won't drown. Will the worm cast clog up the soak away? No, a resounding no, because the worms, although they eat poop and fat and grease and the suds, they poop out like a minerally waterly, watery sub, uh, substance themselves. So they don't poop out poop. Their poop is like a liquid uh, mineral fertilizer and that will just drain away into your soak away. How long will the worms live? They live forever. Of course, worms grow old and they grow die uh, and they grow old and they die. But the beauty with soak away worms is just like any other worms, right? They constantly are bre breeding and replenishing themselves. So the worms will just carry on indefinitely. That's why they're a one off treatment. OK, I've shown you how to get the worms into the soak away. You literally just take the lid off the septic tank tip the worms into the into the in, into the septic tank and from there they'll just make their way into the soak away eating all that fat grease and the sludge how long before the worms will unblock your soak away well how long is a piece of string right give you two scenarios here someone who's got a septic tank they've never emptied it or cared for it or bothered with it for 10 years it's completely blocked up with fat grease and the sludge obviously right the worms are going to take a lot longer to unblock that kind of septic tank and soak away scenario compared to someone who's just noticed they've got problems now they've emptied their tank once or twice you know a year they've noticed that the water's not draining away like it used to they put the worms in the worms will get to work and work within two to three weeks it's like look if someone has a heart attack right they're really unfit they've been eating loads of junk food they have the heart attack sometimes they can revive them sometimes they can't for people who get early warning signs that they're having heart problems they can change their lifestyle change their diet, stuff like that, and you can nip it in the bud. It's the same with the worms. Nip, nip it in the bud. You know, prevention is always better than cure. Are the worms guaranteed to work? Yep, 100%. Will they unblock um, uh, collapsed pipes? Uh, I think, where is that? Uh, oh, yeah, here it is. I forgot to answer this one before. Will the worms repair collapsed pipe, uh, pipes or pipes that are choked by tea, tree roots? No, they're absolutely amazing, these worms are, but they're not miracle workers. If the pipes have collapsed and broken or snapped in half or they're clogged by tree roots, you know, you need a chainsaw on them, not worms. So there you go. That is organic red soak away worms, and that is how they will help you if you've got... Um, soak away problems. So I thought I'd just share that tip with you for today. How much are the soak away worms? Well, let's just have a look here. There's a bucket there. They are typically about £149, which is half the price of what a septic tank emptying or half the price of what the rodding and jetting will cost you. All right. So you can go and get it empty, but it will fill up again. You can get it jetted, but it'll just fill up again. You know, and as I said, the jetting just compounds the issue. So if you want something to get in, then burrow the way in and eat all that fat and the grease and the sludge, then this is a real safe bet. Not only that, with each bucket, right, you also get a free bonus. It's called septic tank fertilizer, right? So let me have a look at this. There we go. And this will actually protect your tank septic tank from cleaning products let's say um you use lots of cleaning products you don't want it to get blocked and clogged up because you're killing all the bacteria then get some septic tank fertilizer in there this is free it's worth 200 quid you get 12 sachets you just tip one sachet down the loo every month it dissolves flush it in there do that 12 times a year with this free box of septic tank fertilizer and um yeah you won't have any problems and they'll also protect the worms and protect your septic tank from the um you know ill effects of cleaning products so there you go so let me just uh, come off here now and uh let me just switch that off now so get rid of my 
alter ego right there we go is it oh yep got rid of it so listen thank you very much for watching this video today if you'd like to see more free videos and get more free and help and advice then just go to septic tank uk or if you'd like to be in with a chance to win a free extra large bucket of soak away worms then just go on to google type in septic tank tv and subscribe to my uh, septic tank tv channel which is on youtube so listen once again thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video today you take care and i'll speak to you soon for more information just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.